everybody. Is Michelin on? Michelin, I'm telling you, everybody that walks in here says, where did you get those rugs? They love, love, love the rugs. So, hi, everybody. So, we've got a few boxes. I know that donut. You know what was so cute tonight? Yeah. T or, um, Preakness was laying here on the orange box that's directly below here and this was on it and she had just her head sticking up here um with her body underneath it looked like a donut with a head on it it was so cute that was so cute okay well uh yeah <laughs> i'll take a, a hot cider and a kitty with that donut oh there's an ice cream one too on that cat bit cat whoops i missed that Oops, wow, I really messed that up. Oh, okay, Yuki. That's what I was just going to ask. Who would be the cat Terry tonight? Yeah, her Halloween. Is that a cat bed toy? Yes, it, it actually did come as a donut pet bed. And Bella, Bella approves of it. Yeah, it <laughs> Holly's doing great. Oh, good. Val, thank you so very much. I've wondered about them today. Oh, I know, Lini, you know what? I didn't send the peacock feather home. Doggone it. I'm so sorry. When you come next time, I will send you five home with you. We did not find the little black kitty. The only thing that makes me feel a little bit better about it is that we have lots and lots of places out on our property that cats can get into and find comfort and warmth and, um, and food. So, I, you know, that always makes me feel a little bit better. Oh, uh, somebody brought a kitty in and had it not, was just carrying it, and off it went. Always use a pet carrier. Yeah, yep, me has got to come back. Yeah, I'm not sure where Black Kitty went. We have um, barns and we have sheds. Some of the sheds have cat holes cut out and inside those um, the cat sheds are um, heat lights and cat furniture and beds and food and then in my barns um, they can get into those and there's comforters and um, cat houses and sheesh, everything they can, they will stay very warm if they find the sheds in the barns because there's plenty of um, very comfortable and warm ways to keep keep nice and comfy. Yeah, I know, I know it. It just is sad. Siri says, "I do a green ball." Hi, Siri. I missed you. I heard that you slept with your your brother last night. <laughs> your human brother, Lini. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just, I love to tease you. No, Lenia, I do though. Those kitties would love a peacock feather. So when you come back, we're going to send a, when you come back, get that. We're going to send you peacock feathers. Okay, so Nuki's going to be our cataterry. So we're going to get busy. And we've got four boxes, two packages, and we have some very interesting looking um, envelopes. And then we'll go over go over uh, the day, the day's event. This one is from Amazon. You guys were very hungry, weren't you? Ooh, yay. It's, oh, this is, it says, hi, Jackie, volunteers and kitties. I really like the new floor. It looks great. All the best, Kathy B. And Kathy B. lives in Texas. Kathy B., our friend. Oh, we got five boxes. Kathy B. And Kathy sent um, a case. Oh, it's okay. It's all right, Preakness. A case of the Friskies. There's uh, 24 in it. And it's the... What's the cut on it? Oh, the fillets. Geez, right in front of my face. The fillets. Kathy B., thank you, thank you, thank you. And as always, on Monday nights, I say my sister Judy will be here tomorrow, and she arranges all the all the um, food. So our pile out there in there will go shrinking down because she puts it all away where they belong. thought I lost my cutter already. 
Okay, we've got two boxes here, and they're a little bit heavy, so I'm just going to do them right here. These are also from, from Amazon. I'm not sure if Kathy's on, but boy, Kathy, thank you so much for your support. Wow, we got a little menagerie going on in here. Wow, a whole bunch of stuff. Bella, oh my goodness, what are we going to do with you? And down in the bottom, I see a white paper. This is also from Kathy. I had gotten an email from her saying that there was some food coming. So this is the other part of Kathy B's order. Okay, what do you think this one? Bella's got her baby food jar. There's another case of the, fan or that was Frisky's. This one is Fancy Feast, the classic. Oh wow, we got a we got a range of flavors here. Another fancy feast. This is the sliced, and there is a difference. And some of the cats, <laughs> they get a little fussy. And this one is grilled. Wow, um, Kathy, you hit you hit all the all the different cuts of them. I better put those over there. So that's three cases of fancy feast. No wonder this box was heavy. And there's two, uh, you know, there. this is the Fancy Feast medley. And uh, some of the oldsters have been liking this. Boy, did I miss, I missed uh, Siri this morning at breakfast. When I do breakfast in the morning, there's three, three cats that eat on the counter while I'm preparing the food. And one, of course, is Farah and Magenta, and the other one has always been Fairy. And I missed her this morning. We're going to get one of these out. So there's, there's a, like a total of a case here, because there's 12 and 12 of the Fancy Feast medley. And, oh, you remembered. This is Fancy Feast also, another case. And this is the um, flaked fish and shrimp. Pat, our volunteer from uh, Thursday night, she works at Walmart. And she gets this. And um, the cats love this. It's the flaked fish and shrimp. I'm going to leave a couple of those out. Man, these are, these are cold. Cold. They haven't been here very long. Must be cold on that UPS truck. It's cold. <laughs> Where are you going there? Cyrilla? I think my blade needs changed again, which I will do. Because uh, Jack Cat keeps us in blade. Oh, let's see what these are. Are the chicken? Yes, they're the chicken. The, per the whiskers. Um, perfectly delicious chicken. These are very gravy y, and the kitties love these. I'm going to put them back in here because since Judy is going to um, rearrange the food tomorrow, I'm going to, she always mixes everything all up so that when we grab things out of the cupboards, we got quite a menagerie of flavors there. Where's Octavia? Make sure she doesn't get into that. <laughs> I have to tie. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go put this away so she doesn't get into this tonight. the donut girl. You were the donut girl. I decided I need to try to perfect my way of uh, being neater in the evening because I tend to be a real throw everything around. And then I pay for it because I have to clean it all up. This one is also from Amazon. Kitty like it though. 
and I think that pillow that's inside the box over there. Oh, this is from Jill R. Jill R. 27. Jill R. Jill R. 27. Yeah. I think I got a email from Jill, too. Oh, I did. Let me go check to make sure I didn't have a letter, letter with it. Don't want anybody knock it over. Yeah. Oh, Potter. Potter, Potter. Oh, so, Jill, I'm going to show you the save the best for last. We have a case of the seafood grilled fancy feast. I'd like to see the amount of food these guys use in a month. Well, I probably wouldn't want to see it. <laughs> and this is adult, the Purina One um, chicken and rice formula. We we love it with these foods where the first ingredient is a meat and it's usually chicken for cats and then usually on Wednesdays Judy E and Greg they take all of these that we get and they mix them all up and then they put them in a big bag and then that way when we refill our stock we just take the big bags and fill up our containers so I'll put that over there so we can use that to um, blend in be careful you're tottery tonight And Jill also sent, whoops, I lost my, whoops, there it is, Jill also sent a box here, and, oh yeah, if I was a cat, this is the one I would eat up. They all like this. And when I make breakfasts in the morning, I always make sure I add a few of these. Oh, I did it again, upside down. Well, I'm going to leave it in there because Judy, like I said, is going to arrange it tomorrow. But these are the Friskies um, Gravy Sensation. The gravy um, seafood one. So, I don't know how I had two for two. I opened upside down. Jill, thank you very, very much. These are... Do we have any up there? I don't think we have any up there top right. The gravy. I'll just, oh, they're in the box. I'll, how about just a couple so I can have for breakfast tomorrow? There's three different kinds. Boy, they were cold. cold. There. Yeah, I'll just I'll mix those three in with the breakfast in the morning. And we better close this down because um Octavia's been teaching some of the young uns night tricks. I found the evidence this morning. Hmm. She probably just taught um and look at this. Check this out. One of the volunteers was just asking, where did that bag of Reese's Pieces go that came in the other day? And it was already gone, and I didn't eat all of it, but I'll make sure that they get some of this. Thank you, Jill. I appreciate it very, very much. Here, Greek let's, let's clean up as we go, okay? So, Kathy and Jill, thanks so much. Are you trying to help me? Oh, did she eat anything? Mm, uh, well, a little bit. She ate the chicken out of it. Mm, she's not been eating very much. She likes chicken. Yeah. Come on, girl. Tweeny, er, Twinkle's been a little bit pokey eating the last couple of days. This one came from Colorado. It's R A C 
Colorado R. A. Eckert. We have an Elkhart, but this is Eckert. Colorado. Oh, geez. Oh, we have a letter. Here's a letter. Phew, good. Oh, this has dragonflies on it. And this. Tw oh, this is from Twiggy's mom. Twiggy's mom. Please accept this in memory. Oh, it's sesame. This is all I could give, but wish you well with the storage shelves in Rome. And, yep, this is for the storage room in memory of sesame. Twiggy's mom, thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. And Twiggy's mom also sent the ping pong balls, which we know the kitties love these. I wonder if uh, Tilo would chase these as much as he does those other ones. Oh, oh, there goes the patty. There goes Gramini. Something about the balls, and what's nice about those is they can get their teeth in there and carry them around. And we also have some cool stickers. I love to use stickers too here. And these are cool. And this is for FFRC. Oh, oh, this is cute. Listen to this. It says for Farah and all the girl kitties. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I can see why. Oh, look at that. Farah. That's Farah. says Farah the Beautiful. Check out her, her jewel. Isn't that cute? For Princess Farah and all her sister cats. So lucky to know a sweet girl like you. So special, so precious, so lovable too. Hugs to all, Twinkies, Twiggies, Mom. And there's a crown in there. Isn't that cute? Hey, that's for you and your friend. Isn't that beautiful? Vera says thanks, Twiggy. And Putter. Putter, come here, buddy. He looks at me like, why? Happy Valentine's Day. Come here, bud. Oh, this one is for this is for everybody. Happy Valentine's Day, Jackie, and all of your volunteers. A heart as big as all outdoors a spirit that's so free to soar. A love that sparkles and delights and warms, warmth that welcomes and invites. Just to say you are also wonderful, Twiggy's mom. You know the volunteers love going through all these cards. Uh, Jackie, yes, and um. Ruth, that was here this afternoon, went through every single one of them. And uh, it's, it, they've been having fun with that. Come here, Putter. Oh, dear. This says for Putter and the Boy Cat. Putter and the Boy Cat. Let's see what they say about you. You're amazing, awesome, adorable. To Putter and all of the Boy Cats. Don't stop me now. I'm on a roll. Keep them all in line, Putter. And have a happy Valentine's Day, Twiggy's mom. Thank you, Twiggy's mom. I don't know. He's a good boy. And then what else is in the box are these blankies. Check these out. Oh, I'm going to have to keep this one away from Karen, my daughter. <laughs> She's a purple girl. Wow, these are really nice. These fleece ones, I've said it a million times, they just dry, they wash so good, they're wonderful. Thank you. We will definitely use them all. We wash and dry and wash and dry everything many times, many times over. Thank you so very much. And this is our last box. I promise I won't hide the Reese's Pieces. This is from Donna R. from Texas. And check out this, this wrapping paper. Little paw prints.
And I think we'll cut here. I almost want to save that. Where are you going, Sweeney? Sweeney's down here eating all the snackies up. I got a feeling that's not what's in here. Is a two toaster, two size toaster. That is something else. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Reese's <laughs> chapstick. Isn't that cute? And I do use that yeah, lap chapstick. If that's not for the kitties, then I'm going to compensate that one. And we have two packages of Pet Pops. I've not seen this time before. Salmon, salmon flavor, two packages of kitty treats. You know the kitties will like that. And some kitty mouse catnip toys. Oh, and we have a letter. Oh, Q-tips, which you know we use those a lot. And then let's read this letter. Very important letters. Oh, and now I know what's in this one. I hope you like the t-shirt. It's my way of saying thank you for everything you do. You you all all give so much of yourself. I wanted to do something for you. Just remember it's only a joke. And this is from Donna. Look on the back of the shirt. Hmm, now you got my curiosity. What do you think there, Duff Dippy? Maybe I should look first before I hold it up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can you read it? Isn't that cool? I got this cat. I got this cat for my husband, and then it says, good trade, huh? <laughs> Look at this needle work on there. Cross-stitch. The cross-stitch, and it's a black and white cat. Your favorite. Oh, that is really cool. And the back side. Oh, that is the back side. Oh, so this is the front, and this is the back. I'll talk him into wearing. Hmm. I got this cat for my husband. Good trade, huh? That is really, really pretty. Thank you. Boy, your your stitching is gorgeous. That is really pretty. Wow. Nice work. Thank you, Donna. Oh, your stitching is just beautiful. And there's one more here, and it's marked fragile, so we have to be careful. You're a good wrapper. Oh. Look at that, Angie. Oh. Excuse me. One more. It's a little kitty angel. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Kazoo night. Wow. That's very pretty. Thank you so much, Donna. I'm going to put this over here so the kitties won't get into it. I have a uh, in the house uh, entertainment center that I have special things like that. So I'll put that in there and keep it safe and treasure that. Um, let me just clean up a little bit. I'm bound and determined to keep keep up with stuff tonight. Tilo, you're kind of rude there, dude. And we have two packages. Oh, this came from Little Chap. 
Little chap and little chaps from Pennsylvania. And there's cards inside. Oh. Oh, this is nice. This one's I you guys I think have hit almost all the kitties for Valentine's Day. This one is for Muffin. I don't think Muffin has gotten one. Oh, look at that. Muffin, have a perfectly wonderful Valentine's Day. Little chap and mow the cat. Little chap and mow the cat. And this is now so Muffin is out in Kitty City. And this one is for Riley, who is also out in Kitty City. Muffin's a calico. Riley is um, a black kitty. Look at that. Kitty cam. They want somebody asked me today if they could do it for Kitty City. Yeah, uh, it was probably Kitty Cam, maybe. Um, no, it was somebody here. Uh, Judy asked. Oh, Riley, just pausing to say Happy Valentine's Day, little champ, and mow the cat. And Gramanique, Gramanique's in here. She's a, a beautiful gray, silver, tiger, white kitty. Says, cuter than cute, sweeter than sweet, a lovable, huggable Valentine treat. Oh, that's cute. Gramini, that's you. Happy birthday, oh, happy Valentine's Day, little chap and mow the cat. You know, we put uh, every one of these goes up on uh, our, our hall of cards. And guess what? Today, this is for Patty Purr. Today, um, I went to Office Depot and I got a cable, the USB cable extension. And so maybe tomorrow I can get that hooked up and I can show you the hallway. So this is for Patty Purr. Valentine's Day proves one thing. A little love can go a long way. Little chap and mow the cat. Snoopy and Woodstock. So Snoopy can always depend upon his best friend. Isn't that cute? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yep, we'll get these cards up. Um, yeah, I really like that one. Yeah, tomorrow I'll uh, get that um, cable on. And I'm pretty sure we can just, if I tried to get a 20 foot, all they had was a 10 foot, but I thought, hey, that's better than nothing. So until I can get a 20 foot, um, we'll use that. And I'll be able to go in the office more and come out here and show you here, get a whole lot closer view over here as well. Isn't that pretty? Valentine envelope. Oh, and this is for Zelda. <gasps> Zelda. There you go. I almost always know where Zelda is. There you go. Stay right there. <laughs> and wow, oh, thank you. No, we got to look at this one. She thought maybe we didn't want to read it because it takes time. No, no, we want to. Happy Valentine's Day, cutie. And look at who's on there. Add a little smudge on the nose and it'd be our Zelda. Dearest, beautiful, sweet Zelda. See, they appreciate you. I have loved you since I first saw you on the cam. Your sweet, loving personality shines through uh, so oh, shines through the screen, and you remind me of my my best beloved cat Gable. Not just because you are a tuxie, but because you follow Jackie with loving attention whenever she is near you, just like my Gable did. Lots of love and kisses, Gable girl. And Sam is the chat name, A.K.A. Kathy in New Hampshire. And the she cut this open here. And there's one of those Yao catnip toys. 
the cats love these. I ha I actually had to throw one away today. They had it wallered and they tore it open during last night and uh, took out all the catnip. It was a destroyed toy. Oh, and check these out. Oh, look, they all they move inside there. Isn't that cute? We can take that off and put these right up here. That's cute. I'll do that. Gable Girl. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And um, Gable's from North. And Sam. But Sam is the chat name. But it's really Kathy in New Hampshire. So, Nuki, did you get all that? A.K.A. Kathy in New Hampshire. Gable Girl. Sam is the chat name. Thank you so much. Did you like that? See, yes. And I like the kitty toy. We'll hang those up. Isn't she just a cute cat? She's just Is she? Angie's holding the two, two new kitties. That wasn't nice. The two new kitties. <laughs> Zelda just didn't want to share it. Yet. That wasn't very nice. Is she hurt? They're just, yeah, they did, but she's just kind of been a little cranky. Yeah, we'll just leave about the TLC. This is signed nobody0130, but you're somebody from Florida. And Peggy, which I have a sack over there to collect the rest of her cards. And Jackie's mom birthday. And this is for my dad. And thank you. It's it's the cam name I believe is nobody O one three O from Florida. And and this person's um kitty's names is Alexis Cam Phoenix Tux. Louise, Evia, and I think it's Zerzex. It's X E R X E S. That's a different name. Thank you. I've saved all of these cards. Thank you very much. And now we're to the envelopes. My mom, when she was here yesterday, she went through all the envelopes or all the cards that I've received and she thought that was pretty cool. This is from Joanne F. from Massachusetts. Is, is that the Torty Tiger? I see her toes. Yes, yeah, got extra toes. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh. With lots and lots and lots and lots of love. And this is from Joanne F. And the screen name is MA01040. MA01040. It says, came across your site a few months ago and have been hooked ever since. I try to sneak a few peeks while at work each day and have been watching boxes as much as possible. Thank you, Joanne, then. Although I've had dogs all my life, I have found a new love for kitties since watching your chat. I think you and your center are amazing for all you do for your kitties. Here is a small donation to use as needed. Keep up the great work. And Nuki, if you can put on there, there's a, a gift card. Um, and Joanne, if you're watching, thank you so very much. Isn't that cute? Thank you, Joanne. We'll add that to our to our wall there. And this is oh, this is from from our uh, chaps or uh, Shep's mom and dad, Anna Marie and Neil. This will be interesting because we know they always have fun letters. <laughs> Oh. Okay, we got to read this. It says, Dearest Mother Jackie, 
That's from Vicki, whose other names are Victoria, Bandita, Shep, Omos. Oh, we got Omos in there. McBride. And the subject is Cat, Tom Cats on the Prowl. I overheard my dad, Neil, and your husband, Steve, uh -oh, uh -oh. plotting their next move. I am not one to carry rumors, but us girls must stick together. Mom, not all scandal occurs in Hollywood. Ustream learned about Steve's Northwest Ohio Award, oh, winning Sloppy Joes, and that information has get, garnered the attention of the wrong sort. The executives of Hooters, uh oh, want to grant a franchise to Neil and Steve featuring Steve's Sloppy Joes. It would be their first to feature such a delicacy. They next had to decide on a location. Gee, I didn't know this was going on. Both Steve and Neil are tired of the cold weather. Steve said that seeing those hairless cats sitting on the couch at home made him feel even colder than normal. They decided on Tahiti. <laughs> Steve objected about the Hooters girls' abbreviated clothing, but Neil pointed out to Steve that these uniforms were more modest than the typical attire of Tahitian women. <laughs> oh, to have Steve, I'm going to make sure Steve reads this, or he probably already knows about it. Steve then <laughs> said he couldn't leave his family, all, and that his wife Jackie was the best movie date he ever had, even better than Boom Boom McAllister from his youth. That rascal Neil reminded about reminded Steve about how improved his financial picture would be if he didn't have to buy Reese's peanut butter cups and sardines. Neil has always been a persuasive salesman. Neil had a little leftover Christmas money and Steve said he had a little bread money socked away and that is how, it, how they are going to fund this adventure. I have completely drained Neil's Christmas account and if you search through Steve's pockets, I think we can terminate their grand scheme. This is from Vicky. Vicky, you are such a stinker. Anna Marie and I watch your box opening every night, and when you read my letter and she learns of this planned adventure, I think Neil will spend the rest of the winter in the doghouse. I wanted a pony for Christmas, and now I am sure I'll be getting one. <laughs> Anna Marie will certainly get some expensive jewelry. When you locate Steve's bread money, have Steve buy you a tiara. You have always been a princess and deserve a crown. If you never heard about Boom Boom from Steve's youth, it would be a good time to grill him and take away his walker. <laughs> oh, Shep, you are one naughty kitty. P.S. I signed this check myself. Neil won't have enough money to buy a tank of gas, and I think Tahiti is a pretty long drive. Males have such fantasies. They are wonderful, but sometimes they leave... <laughs> they need a little badu tough love. I love you, Mom, but I have to go and do a little biting and scratching on Neil. It's the least I can do for you and Anna Marie. Please use the money towards your new storage room. Maybe you could label one of the new shelves, Chef's Shelf. Oh, my goodness. These letters totally crack me up. So, Nuki Mom, if you could put a donation on there from Chef for a... Uh, uh, shelf for our new storage room. I'd appreciate it. Neil, I think you better run because I think you and Steve are in big trouble. Anna Marie, you can help me. And bring a little chef with you too. Thank you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, I think I think Chef is one of the smartest kitties we've ever ever had here. It's amazing how she can write those letters. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, time for another one. I lost my, my cutter again. It's right in front. No, no, I mean the little envelope one. Okay, we'll find it. it will, it's under there somewhere. Yeah, uh... Envelope. I got another one. This one is from Buddy and Mimi in Florida. Buddy and Mimi in Florida. Teddy, you're not supposed to eat those yet. 
because from the cat, I wanted to do something really cute for Valentine's Day. Well, the cutter is, but I was looking for the other envelope cutter. As it turns out, everything I do is already cute, so it was easy. Buddy the cat and Mimi. Oh, so it's Buddy the cat and Mimi in Florida. And I think we have some pictures, maybe a Buddy. Hi, Jackie volunteers, webcam chat chatters, and all the kitties at F the C. And this is from Buddy the Cat. I have to be quick because mom doesn't want me to use the keyboard or the printer. She only lets me watch the webcam because she knows how much I enjoy watching all the other kitties and the volunteers as they scurry around the rescue center. But she left the room for a minute, so I figure this is my chance to write you a note. What I want to know is why you don't have more black and white kitties. As you can see by my photo, I'm a tuxie, and I have a tuxie friend, Ollie, who lives outside, too. Mom says Ollie is feral, so he stays outside, but I know that she invites him inside during bad weather. We have a lot of fun watching each other through our glass doors. Everyone tells me it's like looking in a mirror. Anyway, I think you should have more tuxies, or at least more black and white kitties. After all, oh, and I agree with you, Bear Buddy. After all, we're the most beautiful, handsome of all cats, and I'm sure you have more in the rescue center. They, If you did, they would all be adopted into wonderful homes very fast. Maybe you could even have a black and white tube for one sale. You could advertise in the newspaper and bring in lots of new mommies and daddies to see all the other kitties that aren't lucky enough to be black and white. Well, think about it, won't you? Whoops, I got to go because Mom is coming back. Thanks for all the wonderful love and caring you give to the kitties that aren't as lucky as I am to have their own mom and dad. I'm sure God picked you especially to care for your kitties because of your special kindness. Mom and I thank you, thank God every night for all you do. Happy Valentine's Day. Love to everyone, Buddy the Cat. My mom is Mimi in Florida, so be sure she doesn't find out I sent this card to you. I think, buddy, you're going to be in trouble, too, along with Neil. Oh, Octavia is trying her darndest to get in the cabinet back here. And Judy S. put a collar on the two handles. And I don't think she can do it, but she sure is trying. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love them. Check this out. Buddy loves to watch the webcam. And look, Buddy is right there. Oops. Right there's the webcam or the web uh, the, the the rescue center. Oh, oh look, yep. Here's Buddy and Ollie. Buddy looking through the glass door there at Ollie. Isn't that cute? Thank you, Buddy. I think you better be being extra nice to your mama. Oh, we have one more here. I almost missed. Oh. Oh, look at this. It says, um, Buddy watching Peggy opening her birthday card. And sure enough, there's, whoops, wrong side again. There's, there's Peggy opening up her cards. Oh, that is too cute. Too cute. Thank you, Buddy and your mama, Mimi. We'll save, we'll save that letter too, of course. Oh my gosh, you guys are all so helpful tonight. We have some letters from Sherry, who is our, um, Sherry Ross, or Nick, Nika Ross. This is for Timothy, and you know, this is one of the best Valentine's Day cards. We've gotten a few of these. Oh, isn't that just the most gorgeous hunk of a cat? So this one is for, for Timothy, who's one of our um, Kitty City Kitties it says Timothy. Hope your Valentine's Day is perfect. And this is from Nika Ross. We have a couple others here. Roland and whoa, Roland's envelope got ripped up here a little. There you go. You can keep those for me, Jana. Oh, look at this. She's added hearts on there. Roland, don't let my humiliation and shame be in vain. <laughs> Roland is our um, another cat from Kitty City. He was named Roland because 
Um, he rolls and rolls when we vacuum him. This is Lily, who is another, hmm? Mm -hmm. With the shop back? Yeah, he likes it. This is for Lily. Caught you. Yeah, he likes to be um, vacuumed with a shop back. Lily, love you, sweetie. Nika Ross. There you go, stealing hearts again, especially mine. And um, Lily is one of our our torty kitties out there in, uh, in Kitty City. She's a real, real pretty girl. Oh, and this one's for me. Have a happy Valentine's Day. Get, oh, <laughs> check this. So it's that card. But she says on here, um, can you imagine trying to do this to Badu? Thank you for just being you. Love you, FFRC, all the kitties and volunteers. You have blessed my life and my heart. Sherry Ross, Nika, Nika Ross. Sherry, you're going to have to come and visit us again soon. Oh, this is for Octavia. Here, whoop, no. Hey, I didn't know you were up there. Looks like Octavia gave up back there. But she'll be here somewhere. For Octavia. Oh, look, the eye winks. That's, oh, and the bowl comes in. Can you see that on the cam? I'm not sure if that comes through. It says, to Octavia, you have been a favorite of mine from the beginning of my lurking. Have a special day. This is from Calico17. Thank you, Calico. That's a cool card. That's how Octavia gets her way. She winks at us. Oh, she's such a, such a girl. There's only ever one Octavia in the whole wide world. This is for Bella. Bella, ten bucks. Is she on one of the beds? Oh, we've we've gotten a couple of the big beds this weekend, and oh my goodness, that cat Bella's been in in them all the time. This is from uh, well, it's from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Oh, from Mary T. That is indeed Queen Bella. Queen Bella. I'm not a camera, but I have been watching your site about six months. God bless you for all you do for the kitties, along with your wonderful volunteers. I have one kitty now, a 15-year-old yellow boy. He is very spoiled, and we love him a lot. Thank you again, and give beautiful Bella a hug for me. Beautiful Bella, wishing you a perfectly fabulous Valentine's Day from Mary T. in Michigan. Mary, you, uh, Bella will be delivered a hug for you. She is pretty special, isn't she? She loves those beds. Oh, this is from Blue Wolf in Arizona. Blue Wolf, you should look up my friend Kate in Scottsdale. Aww. A teddy bear. It says, May, my day is always brighter when I think of you and all the kitties and volunteers at FFRC. Love you all, Blue in Arizona. Thank you, Blue. We're going to hang this up with the Valentine cards, too. Thanks, Blue. Blue has been with us for a little while also. And this is from Sharon T. in Monterey, California. In Mon Monterey. So, from Sharon T. Oh, boy. Beautiful. Greetings to all the wonderful folks and kitties at FFRC. From from Sharon T. in Monterey, California. Boy, that makes me want to go see that. And uh, Nuki, if you can put that there's a donation from, from Sharon T. It says, you, oh, you can read this out loud at box time if you want to. I appreciate when you guys make sure there's a, if there's a clarification. I live in Monterey, California. This is a view of our fisherman's wharf. I have been a lurker, although I prefer to be called a loyal viewer, since Bella's surgery. Aw, Sesame's passing has touched me deeply. 
He was such a gentle spirit who graciously received your loving care by purring and showing affection. He quietly fit in without causing any trouble. What a sweet little boy. While his story is unknown, I can't help but think he was separated somehow from a loving family at some point, but maintained his sweet disposition despite the hardships and fear he must have endured. I am enclosing a donation for a plaque in his honor on your tree of life. You decide how to use the money. Many thanks to you and all the wonderful volunteers for the dedicated care given to the precious kitties. Best wishes, Sharon T. Sharon, thank you. Um, I'll order that tomorrow. And if it's okay with you, I'll put um, two sesame from, from Sharon T. And uh, if that's, that's not what you want, just give me a call or just give me an email. And uh, I'll change it to whatever it is you want. So we'll order that for sesame. You know, you're, you're very, very true on here. <laughs> he was a gentle spirit, and he did graciously receive our love. And uh, you've got here, I can't help but think he was separated. You know, and the sad thing, I think that's very true. And, you know, we tried to find out where the truck, they, they, we were told that that truck probably did come from someplace um, before the, to the town that it arrived in before it got here. But we couldn't, we, we just kept needing dead ends. And that's sad. I remember when I was a little girl, we lost my um, collie, and uh, we never, ever found out what happened to her. She got spooked in a storm while we were outside playing, and she took off, and we never found her. And that's the hardest thing, you know, when you don't know what happens to your beloved pets. So thank you, Sharon. I appreciate that very much. And this is from Cat Lover 14, and it's C A T L V R 14. Cat Lover 14's been with the Rescue Center also for a little while. Oh, this is this is a very wonderful card. Um, it says Happy Valentine's Day, and she says this is Farah. Don't let my humiliation and shame be in vain. Hug, hugs and kisses to all the FFRC cats. Cat Lover 14, and it's from Jenny. Thank you very much, Cat Lover. Vera, you must be a hit today, wherever you are today. This is Jane B. from Pennsylvania. Jane B. from Pennsylvania. Hey, you. Know what I like best about you? All of your hearts. Happy Valentine's Day. What a great bunch you all are. Such care and compassion for the little lucky kitties who have found their way to you. Jane B. Oh, you're a two-week watcher. T or something now on mute. Please use this gift card for your needs. Kind of funny, but I'm not really a cat person. Oh, is you, oh anaphylactic shock allergies. Yeah, be careful then. However, they always know and pick me out of a crowd, Aww, so they know that you do love them. And uh, Nuki, if you could put that, that Jane B has a, has a gift card from Walmart. The Ma Walmart I'm employed at donates its cat and dog food to a local animal food bank. These items are ripped bags, dented cans, multiple packs, missing cans, or anything unsellable to the public. These items would end up being thrown out. So please check your local store. See if they can do this for you. We've been doing this for about three years. Our group picks up every Thursday. Give it a try. Hope they can help. And this is from Jane B. And from Jane is from Pennsylvania. Jane, um, oh, Jane, I'm very sorry. This is personal note. I am so sorry. I didn't read that till right then. I'm very sorry. But... Jane, since I read that, let me tell you, um, our local Walmart, can you hear that noise back there? <laughs> Octavia is back there again trying to get in there. Our local Walmart is very, very good to the rescue center. Um, they do donate their dented cans and um, rip bags and missing cans out of packs.
to us. And what's really cool is they also, there's three things that is extra cool. One, you, you guys, many of you know Pat, who's our Thursday night volunteer. She works there, and for every 25 hours that she donates here as a volunteer, they donate $250, and she can do that four times a year. So that's really awesome. They also um, have a have a employee there. Her name is Tara, who comes here, and Tara will deliver those things for us, the cans, the broken um, uh, bags, the rip bags, things like that. She'll bring them here for us, which is really awesome. And um, third, they do donate a few times a year a uh, gift card to us. So our, our local Walmart is really very, very good to us. So we send people there all the time, and we uh, buy a lot of our cat food and products there from them. This is for Dougster. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope every little thing about your Valentine Day adds up to one great big love-filled day. This is for Dougster. Dougster, you know, you guys sometimes see him being a cranky bottom here. <clears throat> but he's a good boy. He's he's a lover. He's a people lover. And he's just got a good personality. Oh, <laughs> I didn't notice this. This is for, listen to this. Mr. Einstein Parrot. And this is from Australia. From <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's pretty cool. For Einstein, my parrot. Oh, and it's got birds on it. To Einstein, happy Valentine's Day from one old bird to another. The cockatoo down under. And this is Lee in Oz. A.K.A. Lee in Oz. L-E-E-I-N-O-Z. Isn't that cool? Thank you. Thank you so much, Lee. <laughs> I'm going to put that on Einstein's pin, actually. <laughs> That's funny. FFRC. Oh, this is from Newfie, Newfie Dog Mom. We know Newfie Dog Mom. Oh, these are so cute. Look at that. This is for Oliver from Newfie Dog Mom. What are these? These are, uh, you can take these apart, or they were, and make a puzzle from them. This one's for Derby. They're all kitties. You're a jewel for Key Era. I think you guys hit all the cats. I think there's, oh, and there's one for Big Al. Thank you, Newfie Dog. Newfie's mom. I'll hang these up on our wall, too. That's really cute. Isn't that fun, the, the things they have for, for us to have fun with? We've got three more after this one. This is, oh, this is from Ashley. I think this is the one she told me was common. Oh. <laughs> Jackie Steve volunteers. And of course the sweet kitties. I'm so glad we met. I'm so very happy I stumbled upon the Ustream those months ago. I've laughed, I've cried, I've been inspired, and I've fallen in love with humans and felines alike. I wish you all the very best. Lots of love. And this is from Carolina Ash. Carolina is was actually our original um, was our original uh, catetary. Oh my goodness gracious! There's a whole bunch of them in here. Oh, this is at Carolina. This is so cool. Um, I'm going to read the names off to you, and then I'm going to set them down here. That's for Kendra. And there's one for Grace. And my mom. There's one for Jocelyn. There's one for Kellen. There's one for Kirsten. For Ada Jane and Putter. Bella, Badu, Asha, 
Cutie. Hey, Miss Aprilla, Devante, Felice. Oh, these are my house babies. Zany, Zap, Zeke, Missy. To the Patties. To the Twinkle Girl. Magenta. And, oh, and Unique. Carolina, thank you for for this. That is so sweet. I think what I'm going to do, and they all say hello, friend, I'll bet you, in these. Or sweet Valentine. They're all hello, kitty ones. Um, I'm going to, Carolina, I'm going to open these up. And I'm going to, I saw this with, uh, oh, this is for Dearest Putter Butter says best friends. I'm going to open these up, Carolina. And I saw this where somebody took a um, white, big white plate, you know, like a paper plate, and taped them all around in a circle on it. So I know, aren't these fun? These are like what we did when we were in school. My angel, Farah. Farah, you got another one, best friends. Carolina, I'll put, the, I'm going to make that up. And, uh, I'll, I'll hang that on the door then. Thank you. And I'll make sure all of my mom and all the kids that's on there will get those. That will be that'll be fun. Yeah, I remember the the boxes we used to make at school. Those were fun things. This is from Jane W. Boston. From Boston. What was that I saw over here? Are you, oh, you are in there. I thought I saw a little ear sticking up. From Boston, Massachusetts, from Jane W. You okay there, kitty? Oh. Is Carolina Ash on? Says, thanks to you, Jackie, and all the volunteers for all you do and all Love you bestow on all the all the kitties, cats, oldsters, and us cammers. Happy Valentine's Day is filled with fun and love. Oh, <laughs> and sardines and Reese's Pieces. Love Calico 17. This is from Calico 17. Oh, and even the back of the card is cute. Thank you. Thank you so much, Calico. We'll hang that up. What a cute, beautiful kitty on there. You guys, what a cool thing you guys have gotten. This, I do believe, is from out of the United States. Asha, what you doing? Isn't that cute? Just, to, oh, this is, um... From Helen, just a note to thank you and all the volunteers for all the love you give to the kitties. Regards, Helen. She's from Blackpool, England. Look at the card with the kitties on it. Having served you stream for several years, watching dogs, owls, horses, and so on, I stumbled upon your channel just before Christmas, and I'm hooked. I've laughed with you and cried with you. Cheered when a kitty gets adopted and marveled at your energy. I've got to know the names of some of the cats and volunteers, although those orangies sure do confuse me, apart from promise. Unfortunately, circumstances are such that I cannot have any pets at home, so get my fix watching you and the volunteers cuddle the cats. I just wanted to say what great work you do, and although I don't chat, I might one day if I'm brave enough. I participated in the floor fundraising and fully intend to send a gift box when I am able. With love to you, your family, all the volunteers, and of course the cats. Regards, Helen. I'm in the UK and love breakfast time at the center, which I'm able to watch about 9.30 or 10 your time before you go to work. Thank you, Helen. I appreciate that. And thank you, too, for, for helping us with the floor. You know, we've had um, two different people come today. And the reason they came was to see the floor. So I got a kick out of that. I thought that was pretty cool. And we do love this floor. The volunteers have marveled at it. It's been a week and a half. Um, I think, boy, this, this poor envelope got chewed up. 
I think it says, oh, Collins, maybe. Let me just, let's just open it and find out. Uh-oh, here comes the doggy. It is from the Collins. We've got all the answers this Valentine's Day and the questions too. Okay, are you ready to listen? Jackie volunteers and cats for babies of the FFRC. Happy Valentine's Day. Will you have a have a happy Valentine's Day? Yes, from Sharon and Bill. This is the Bubba's. I have had more fun with these kind of cards. Are you cute? Oh, yes, 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 yes,
says, Hi, Queen Bella. My name is Honey Bunny, and as you can see, I am a short-haired tabby similar to yourself. You have such a regal bearing and a great crown. You deserve everyone's respect and love. Is she awake yet? Yeah, she's awake. She's <coughs> here. Come here, you. You got a card? You got to come over here. She's just looking around. She's like, oh, no. She found me. Oh, she's, she's purring already. <laughs> you got a friend here on this card. This is from Honey, just for you. Isn't she wonderful? We love her. You are so very brave to cope with one of your back legs missing. I have watched you scuttle around the center and have admired the way you climb up on the various levels and do so with such confidence. Yeah, that's to you. I am so in awe of the way you use your paw to scoop the food out of a small jar. I would never have thought of doing that. So I borrowed my slave's laptop to design this card especially for you. I have greatly admired you since I first saw you, so will you please be my Valentine? Have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and I will be thinking of you always, honey. And here's, here's honey working on her laptop. And made especially for you, Queen Bella, by honey with the help of Janak 2's laptop. And here's two more. Oh, there, look at the top one is Bella with her crown on. And the bottom one there is Honey. Yeah, they do kind of look alike there, don't they? Thank you, Jana, for letting Honey use your laptop. Did you, you say thanks? Oh, oh I would never drop you. Isn't she wonderful? She's such a good kitty. <laughs> Why is your head sideways? You want to go this way? <coughs> Bella, Bella is, is, I always say she's the cat with six legs. She always uses all of her legs to full maximum ways. You ready to go? She's been lounging on all these new beds that we've gotten. And uh, I don't think last night she moved it off. So thank you, everybody. We did have the adoption, though, today. And um, was there any anything that I missed? Any questions that anybody had? Promise? Oh, you guys don't miss a beat, do you? <laughs> Somebody was looking at Promise today, and I said that she was on hold because there is somebody um, on the my emails that has a, has that interest in her that I'd like to hold her yet for that. Cosimo, I heard from them two days ago. They said Cosimo is not ready to come back yet. So I said, is it because Cosimo is not ready to come back, or you guys aren't ready to let him come back? I think it's a little mutual affair there. And... Bubbles, I I opened all the boxes. I didn't I didn't see your box yet, Bubbles. Uh, yesterday, bu Bubbles was it supposed to be here already? Uh, yesterday we had Siri, Picasso, and Holly that was adopted, and. and Oh, Angie, I'm sorry. I, I just picked my feet up. And Pansy May was born in 2005. And she arrived here when she was 12 and a half months old. So her birthday is April 15, 2005. And Cutie, yep, that's Cutie on Angie's lap. We just we just had those three adoptions yesterday for the weekend and one today. Oh, Shorty, please don't ever be sorry for not sending. Uh, it's just nice to have everybody being with us here. Twinkle, we got Twinkle when she was 15, uh, so I don't know that if she ever had a litter or not. 
and uh, Emmeline never had a litter either. Um, Emmeline arrived here originally when she was 11 years old. <laughs> I have a hiding stash for the Reese's Pieces. You know, I don't think I'm catching a cold, but my throat is a little bit raspy tonight. Yeah, always, never, ever, ever anybody be sorry for not sending anything. It's okay. It's just nice to have you here, here watching us and being with us and just vote for us. And just being here with us is good. Oops, I got to write down to find Patty's baby pictures. Um, and I will get those then, Lucy Tunes. The catathon is. Did you check with me? No, I gotta 20, do that too. 24th. The 24th, June 24th. Will you remind me, Angie, to write that down? I gotta call him. Okay. It's June 24th. It's on a Sunday. It'll be from 1 to 4. Wait a minute. Did I check the cabinet above the sink under the cat bowls? What am I. What am I looking for? <laughs> what am I looking for, Brits? Tell me. Oh, you know what? How did those? How did that candy get there? Okay, somebody's got to fess up to that, Brit. Brit. Today it was so funny. Yeah, somebody pulled down a bowl from up top and said, "Uh, Martha did when she was cleaning, and she accused me of putting them up there, hiding them." And I said, I didn't know what she was talking about. And I didn't. Who put those up there? Um, somebody was setting me up, I think. Probably Severin, huh? <laughs> Sorry, Sav. Did new cats come in today? Nope, no new kitties today. Uh, yes, Cosimo will still be up for adoption unless these people are keeping him because they're thinking they would like to have Cosimo. Oh, did... Paul do that. I did not do the kitties' names today. I was gone for several hours today. Uh, Judy S. and I went to Fort Wayne, Indiana to get some supplies from Sam's Club. Fifi is doing good. She's definitely has, you know, some eye, eye uh, doesn't doesn't see very well. That vision is pretty limited. Weasley was a naughty boy. He bit you. Uh oh. Oh, give him a kiss for me, though, Lini. <laughs> yeah, Raza and Tilo. That's yeah, they'd be good in a home together because uh, that's mom and and son. <laughs> yeah, did you guys all all hear about that putter wanting to be adopted? Um, the shutter sheriff putter contest. Well, it's over now, but now we have. It was a. It's a picture of putter with his sheriff badge. Yeah, let me just show him real quick. This is the picture. But it's real, real defined sharply on, of course, the computer. <clears throat> and you all got to, it was opened up to um, uh, the, whatever word you wanted the shirt to say. So that's what we're putting them all together. I'm having all the volunteers vote on some of their favorites because there's a whole lot of them. And then we'll narrow it down like to 10, to 10 or so and then vote on it. Yes, yeah, spay and neuter. Say, <laughs> take two sardines and call us in the morning. That's a good one, Bantry. When is Dunnikin's birthday? Dunnikin's birthday is March 20th. Oh. Hmm. Okay, Titans, I got your PM. I will I'll work on that. I'm not sure why, but I'll find out. I'll work on that tonight. Yeah, and I'm I'm way behind on the chat. 
Ooh, two Reese's Pieces, two sardines, and catnip. Yeah, and one of those bottles of wine that I got this weekend. Not for me, it was a gift. <clears throat> Just kidding, no. Paul did, yeah. Paul did, Paul didn't. I didn't know those were up there. I really didn't. I wondered. I ought to ask Paul tomorrow to get down that big, big bowl for me. Oh, little feet. I like that name, Sunny Cat. Oh, that includes some Patty baby pictures. Yeah. Um, the crack of dawn. <laughs> Lini, I don't know who that person was to get them to get up that early. Yeah, we know it wasn't. It can't be the kitty's fault. Um, Judy drove to Fort Wayne. She says I drive too fast. We we are a long ways um, reverence from um, picking the win winner over the uh, the t-shirt. Yeah, we're we're quite a ways away from that. Yeah, we're just now starting to narrow them down. <laughs> um, uh, I'll explain about putter in case somebody missed that. Um, the catathon is a big, uh, like a telethon, where we have lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff to auction off, and um, people call in, put their bids in. It's uh, the bat. We have baskets, and it's just a huge amount of things that we auction off, and it's it's ran like a telethon. It's a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun last year. Was our first one. Yeah, it was our biggest fundraiser. Yeah, I'll show I'll get the two kitties out here. When is my birthday? I don't have a birthday. It's well I'll tell you my birthday. It's Luma Mininuma. That's it. <laughs> yes, but you will let me pick her up. I carry her around. And then when she meow, then I put her down. Night Bubba's. March March 20th is Dunnikin's birthday. No, no, my birthday is not March 20th. Honest. Girl Scout honor. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um, if anybody wants, Cat Toy says, is there anything you need for the catathon? If anybody's creative out there, does crafts, makes things, whatever, um, you're welcome to send things in and we will auction them off. I'm getting a basket list around. Oh, so, last year we had basket um, topics like, and we just kind of put put everything into groups. Anything works. Nope, same glasses. Yeah, all donations are welcome for the catathon. <laughs> Your birthday's the same day as Danica's line. Aw. We can't judge you, judge if we don't see you drive fast. That's true. Uh, there was no pregnant boy. Oh, the pregnant boy cat. Okay, when I get up, I'll write down the pregnant boy cat and the Patty's baby pictures, and we'll do that the next box night. Okay, I've almost got this caught up. <laughs> I like that. I like that, Severin. Thanks, Bubbles. Yeah, that would be cool. Night, Jody. They they wouldn't send me a birthday card because I'm not gonna do my birthday. No. <laughs> Oh, Mamie, are you going to do another Afghan? Um, Af Mamie, Mamie did a beautiful Afghan for the catathon last year. Do you all remember what how much we got on that Afghan? Wasn't it like four hundred dollars or something like that? Patty's mommy, the Patty's mommy was adopted. I 
I got a good suggestion to doing baskets with the cookbook and the ingredients. Oh, that's a great idea, Lainey. And the ingredients to make one of the of the dishes. That's a cool idea. Yeah, we anything we we put them all. It's we have a lot had a lot of fun last year with it. <laughs> I'm gonna make a list though of baskets to do, and then I'll give them. Some okay, ideas. give them some ideas. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. And Lini brought a quilt. And we had some, um, Amber brought some, some little quilty things last, yesterday too. Bella, Bella loves her beds. Some Amish quilts. Yes, yes, in good condition. That would be the Afghans, the quilts, they all make, they all did really well. Uh, Steve doesn't know where my birthday is either. No, the anything for the catathon, it can be anything. Uh, last year, just as a for instance, we had um, um, like a NASCAR basket, Avon basket, an Amway basket, lots of kitty baskets, a dog basket, picnic basket, summer fun stuff. Angie, oh. what was some? Oh, bird watching. Bird basket, gardening. Yeah, gardening. Babies. One. Oh, a baby, baby I basket. Yes, that's right. That's right. Just I, actually, I got one. Of my mom got one. Lots and lots of just fun stuff. When would we send? You send if you're going to send me any birthday card. It's in the month of Ruby month. I think it's March. No. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be in so much trouble. Octavia will be Mar Will be auction on. Yeah, March 15th is the very, very latest for the recipe submissions. Um, Lini has to answer that about pre-ordering the cookbooks. Oh, <laughs> me and Kat, we. <laughs> Oh, right, we had the heart um, basket for my daughter. Yeah, the Cape Cod basket was awesome. Tea and coffee. Yeah, tea and coffee, chocolate. Great we had a candy, a movie one. Yeah, the Cape Cod one. Candy. Back to school basket. Oh, yeah, the candy one. The Cape Cod basket one was cool. Kitty basket, dog basket. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are way too funny. All right, I think I'm. I think I've caught up. Yay! Hey, Angie, can you show those two kitties? And I'm gonna write down those two things I'm supposed to do. Oh, I did. I got a. I only could get a 10 foot cord extension um, USB cord, so I'll put that on tomorrow. <laughs> Octavia uh, is going to be in major trouble. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go write those two about the USB cable. Okay, I will, Severin. Okay, I had to write down the boy pregnant cat story. This is the little girl, the tortie tiger. And the Patty's pictures. <laughs> yeah, they're a little shy yet. <laughs> and she's purring. She's got a little ways to go. She is purring. Mm -hmm. Did she get chocolate? Mm -hmm. All right. You're going to be okay. You got the terracotta nose. Okay, I better go write those two things down.
Okay. Angie's going to get the other one out. That's the one that Val might be interested in. this come from? I don't know. Maybe we can read that at the next box. That one doesn't want to purr yet. She was purring earlier. Or he was purring earlier today. So. Nope. Can't get him to purr. Okay. Okay, and so when are we meeting next? Well, we can set it time, but I thought maybe the first Wednesday mm -hmm. of the month okay. would be good. That sounds good. Yeah, isn't that pretty? That's very pretty. Um, I sent out the minutes. Did you get that? Or were you able to open it? Um, when, when would I have gotten it? I didn't get it yet. You send it out? Yeah. Okay, so hmm. Saturday, maybe. Okay, so maybe I'll get it tomorrow. Yeah. Well, it was email, so it should have come up. Oh, yes, I did. You okay. sent an email? Yeah. yeah, I did get that then. Were no. you able to open it? Um, no, and I wanted to ask.